friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq related with uh, building construction in the topic of foundation so the first question the lowest part of structure which transmit the load of soil is known as option a superstructure option b plinth option c foundation option d basement so the correct answer is option c foundation so next question the minimum load which will cause failure of foundation is called option a ultimate initial strength option b ultimate bearing strength option c normal strength option d ultimate compressive strength so the correct answer is option b ultimate bearing strength next question the foundation in which a cantilever beam is provided to join two footing is called option a strip footing option b raft footing option c combined footing option d strap footing so the correct answer is option d strap footing so next question black cotton soil is unsuitable for foundation because its option a particle or cohesive option b bearing capacity is low option c property to undergo the volumetric change due to variation of moisture content option d permeability is uncertain so the correct answer is property to undergo a volumetric change due to variation of moisture content so next question grillage foundation option a is light and economical option b does not require deep cutting as the required base area with required pressure intensity is obtained at the shallow depth option c is used to transfer heavy structural loads from the steel columns to soil having low bearing capacity option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question wrap foundation are generally preferred to when the area required for individual footing is more than option a 25 percentage of total area option b 30 percentage of total area option c 40 percentage of total area option d 50 percentage to total area so the correct answer is option d 50 percentage to total area so next question in case of rhyme and pile option a length vary from 6 meter to 12 meter option b diameter of top of piles varies 40 centimeter to 60 centimeter option c diameter of pile at bottom varies 20 centimeter to 28 centimeter option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the pile which is provided with the bulb filled the concrete at its lower end is called option a franky piles option b mac arthur piles option c ryman piles option d simplex pile so the correct answer is option b mac arthur pile so next question during percussion drilling option a caving or mixing of strata are caused in soft soil or coarsenless soil option b groundwater observation or hindered due to entry of slurry in the soil below the bottom of the hole option c the soil to a considerable depth below the bottom of the hole gets disturbed option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question solid core of rock is formed inside the cylinder is cause of option a diamond drilling option b percussion drilling option c wash boring option d agar boring so the correct answer is option a diamond drilling so next question the agar boring are not common option a in soft soils option b in soils that require lateral support option b in coarse soil option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b in soils that require lateral support so next question pick up the commonly adopted geophysical method in civil engineering from the following option a electrical resistivity method option b the seismic method option c both a and b option d magnetic method so the correct answer is option c both a and b so next question the loose pockets in soil moss can be bridged safely by providing the rough foundation provided to the soft area is smaller than option a one third of the column spacing option b third fourth of the column spacing option c half the column spacing option d the column spacing so the correct answer is option a one third of the column spacing so next question for heavy embankment on dams of height h the depth of exploration of soil should not be less than option a h by 4 option b 1 by 2 into h option c h option d 2 h so the correct answer is option d 2 h so next question rotary drilling option a hinders the ground water observation and permeability test option b is not economical for holes of less than 10 cm option c is not suitable for deposit containing very coarse gravel option d all the above 
so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question in grillage foundation a minimum 15 cm cover is provided on option a lower beam of lower tire option b end of the external beams option c upper flange of the top tire option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a lower beam of lower tire so next question the maximum bearing capacity of soil is that of option a loose fine sandy soil option b dry coarse sandy soil option c hard rocks option d black cotton soil so the correct answer is option c hard rocks so next question raft foundation are used for option a counteracting the hydrostatic effect option b providing increase the area of foundation over the poor bearing capacity of soil option c spanning over small soft or loose pockets option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question to support a heavy structure in a sandy soil the type of foundation generally used is option a combined footing option b raft footing option c pair footing option d strap footing so the correct answer is option c pair footing so next question the depth of groundwater table may be ascertained by option a standing on the well in the vicinity option b measuring the depth of water in the well option c looking through the well in the vicinity option d or none of the above so the correct answer is measuring the depth of water in the well so next question in clay soil option a swelling and shrinkage characteristics prevail option b consolidation continues even after several years of construction option c differential settlement is generally prevalent option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the bearing capacity of piles is determined by option a static formula option b dynamic formula option c pile load test option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question the minimum distance between the centers of the bulb of diameter d of the multi underimed piles is option a 2d option b 1.75d option c 1.5d option d 1.25d so the correct answer is option c 1.5d so next question the depth of excavation of foundation is generally measured with the option a ranging rod option b boning rod option c steel tape option d leveling stuff so the correct answer is option b boning rod so next question for the construction of flyovers is sandy soil the type of foundation provided is option a strap footing option b combined footing option c pair footing option d square footing so the correct answer is option c pair footing so next question the pile provided with one or more bulbs its vertical shaft is generally known as option a under reamer pile option b friction pile option c sheet pile option d bearing pile so the correct answer is option a under reamed pile so next question in soft clay of low bearing capacity the type of steel pile generally used is option a hutch pile option b box pile option c tube pile option d screw pile so the correct answer is option d screw pile so next question open test pits is only suitable up to the depth of option a 2.5 meter option b 2 meter option c 3 meter option d greater than 5 meter so the correct answer is option c 3 meter so next question rotary drilling is fastest method in case of option a clay soil option b rocky soil option c sandy soil option d all of the soil so the correct answer is option d all the above so next question pile foundation are suitable for option a soft rocks option b waterlogged soils option c compact soils option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b waterlogged soils so next question safe bearing capacity of black cotton soil varies from option a 2 to 3 ton per meter square option b 5 to 7.5 ton per meter square option c 8 to 10 ton per meter square option d 10 to 12 ton per meter square so the correct answer is option b 5 to 7.5 ton per meter square so next question the pile which supports the load partly by friction and partly by resting on the hard stratum is called option a bearing piles option b friction piles option c compaction pile option d batter pile so the correct answer is option b friction pile so next question the least bearing capacity of soil is that of option a hard rock option b moist clay option c soft rock option d laminated so the correct answer is option b moist clay so next question under piles are generally used for option a machine foundation option b transmission line towers option c tall structures option d all the above 
so the correct answer is option d all the above again we will see in next video thank you